Today we'll be talking about when you guys should start beginning practice exams. Hi everyone, my name is Darren, a first year medical student studying at Monash University here in Melbourne, Australia. As you guys move through term three and get done with your SACs, it's time to start thinking about when you want to begin preparing for the end of your exam, particularly in terms of practice exams. Now for me, my exams last year were significantly later than yours, so I thought just to be safe, I'll get this video out early for you guys to consider about when you want to start if you haven't already. Now the time when I began preparing varied a lot between each subject and so I'll be breaking my video down into each of those subjects. I'll group some of them together like the math subjects but for the other ones they'll be split according to each subject. Uh, now for those of you who are new to the channel my subjects were English, English language, math methods, specialist maths, chemistry, Latin and Chinese second language. In terms of what exactly I did for each subject and really breaking it down, I'll be making another video on that later. Uh, but for today's video, I'll be talking about an overview of what I did and more so when I started preparing and why I started preparing at that particular time. So let's dive into the first subject. First up is English. Now as an overview of what I did, I completed a lot of individual section essays for argument analysis and text response, and I did two full-on three-hour exams with no uh, notes and full exam conditions. Now as to when I began doing practice exams, I did one argument analysis piece just before my comparative SAC. Now I don't remember when my comparative SAC was, but I know that for Scotch, the comparative SAC was significantly before the end of your exam. So it was, I had um, a lot of time to prepare between um, that argument analysis, sack, uh, argument analysis piece and the actual end of year exam. Now after this piece I had a chat to my teacher and I realized that I didn't really need to do this. I should probably focus on my comparative sack and after that's done I still have enough time to prepare for the exam. Now the reason I did the argument analysis piece so early was because I felt that exams are really looming and the nerves are starting to set in. So I feel like if you guys are feeling that similar way and you just really want to do something to make you feel a bit better, then sure, go for it, write a practice essay from the um, text response or argument analysis or whatever you're not confident in. But after that one piece, I focused wholly on the comparative SAC because it's worth a lot of marks and um, once again, our comparative SAC was relatively early on. Now for you guys as to when you should start, um, I think you should really think about how much time you need to go over the sections, go over your quotes and feel confident for English. So I checked the VCAR website, your English exam is on the 27th of October and the time when you have your comparative SAC, which is should be the last major assessment for English, kind of varies from school to school. Um, so if the time you need to prepare for the exam is not enough, if you wait until after the comparative SAC, then definitely start early. I reckon do some argument analysis, do some text response. Um, don't, because you don't like need to put in 100% into your comparative. Whether you put in say 90% or 100%, the mark reflected in the end wouldn't be that different. Uh, so I think it's really important that you do put everything in perspective. The comparative SAC is important, but the end of your exam is even more so. So it's important that you guys start preparing for that early. Now for English language, my preparation began sort of like with English with the short answer questions because that was what I studied earlier in the year and I had, oh, well, I wanted to revise it. Now for English language, I did wait until after the SACs were over because I felt that for me individually, that was sufficient time to prepare for the end of year exam. Something to be wary of in English language is that the early VCAR exams are a bit different to what we have now, especially with the analytical commentaries. They didn't have that for a while in these, some of the earlier exams. So I think even if you don't begin your English language preparation now, it's good to have a look at the exams, see which ones you can actually do, see which ones are different, and that helps you plan out what you're gonna do when much easier. Term three to four holidays is definitely a good time to start, sort of after all my SACs, at least for me, so I could um, focus on it, so I could focus on the SACs beforehand entirely. And also because English language, there's less memorization involved than English and less sort of recalling quotes and being able to get into that 
really analytical state of mind. Um, that's why my English preparation began quite a lot earlier than my English language prep. With chemistry, I just did practice exams. There wasn't much variation to what I did, but I began my practice exams really, really late. I think I did maybe one or two before the entire testing period began. But um, during the testing period, I didn't do any chemistry until the weekend before the exam. Um, chemistry was my last exam. I think it was on a Monday. I had Saturday and Sunday to prepare for it. And then all my exams were finished before that weekend. The reason for this is that chemistry was definitely going to be my seventh subject and so it wouldn't count towards my ATAR and also I knew my chemistry was decent because I had a great teacher and I had a decent foundation knowledge so I wouldn't say like be below the prerequisite for medicine. Uh, now with chemistry if you want to do well I highly recommend starting early because the chemistry exams are really thick and um, they're two hours each, two hours 15 including reading time and there's a lot of writing involved. Now, I think it, you can start this before your, um, before your SACs because I feel like it doesn't affect your SAC preparation that much. For example, for English, if you're preparing a lot of text responses before your comparative, it kind of detracts from it. But with chemistry, because the knowledge you're preparing for the SAC is probably also in the exam, um, it's quite nice to do. So definitely, you can start preparing chemistry if you're aiming to do well before your final SAC. Now, for math subjects, it was all just practice exams because that's just how it is with maths. There was some slight variation with how I prepared uh, in the time when I started preparing for methods and spec. So in year 11, I prepared, for I prepared for methods quite early on in the year. And that was kind of because I was paranoid. It was my first year of three fours, and I don't think it was really necessary. I think the time that I began for spec was much better, which was sort of mid-early July. Now, since my exams were earlier or later than yours, I think you guys should get on to preparing for your math subjects about now. Now, the reason for this is that maths, it's really good to do practice questions, especially to see the style of questions that VCAR has. Now, um, for Scotch, the SACs were quite nice. They were sort of similar to the end of your exam, but I know a lot of schools, they test you on really weird concepts and a really weird SACs. So I think you should try and get adjusted to the VCAR style of questions as early as possible particularly with spec, because those questions repeat um, a fair bit. And just something to know, I think the last year's methods exam was a lot different, I felt, than previous year's exams. So maybe um, check that out as well, perhaps later in the year. I feel like they've changed the person who um, makes these exams. And another reason why maths exams are good to begin early uh, is because they are very hefty, because they have that um, part one and part two and yeah, each one, there's a lot. One's one hour, one is two hours. Uh, so it's good to get started and paste it out so you get all the ones you want done um, by the end of the year. And also because they're pretty important subjects in general as well. Methods is a prereq for a lot of courses and spec has really high scaling. And so you'd want to do well in them and that begins with preparing at the, we'll begin doing practice exams at the best time. Second last is Chinese second language. Now this is a sentiment that resonates with most languages and that is start your practice exams early and now would be a good time. There are two kind of reasons for this. The first reason is that your oral is soonish and right before your uh, end of year written exam. And when it gets to the oral, no one, really, no one is really thinking about their written exam. Everyone is really paranoid about the oral and really wants to do well. So to give yourself some leeway for that period of time where you might be preparing solely for the oral, uh, it's good to start early um, and start now. And the second reason for why uh, you guys should start early is because there's a lot to gain from each language exam and that knowledge takes time for you to make it your own. Now this knowledge is in the form of vocab, um, for the form of sentence structures, or in the form of just you need to plan out all the essay topics that this past VCAR exam has had. And that all takes time which is different to a subject like maths where you sort of figure out where you got what you got wrong pretty quickly and then you just remember that and move on. Um, whereas for these languages, learning vocab, planning, all takes a lot of time so it's good to get started early and you have time for that information to sink in and for you to be able to have full knowledge of that when you get to your written exam. Finally, we have Latin. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, congratulations. You're either very interested in Latin or you're one of the few people who do it. 
In terms of Latin preparation, I didn't do many full on, full practice exams toward till the pretty close to the written exam and the end of or school in terms of term three and term four. Um, but with unseens, I continued those throughout the whole year. I think our teacher and also me personally did about one a week on average. So I reckon you should really start that if you haven't already or continue with it if you started already. Now with your lines, please get onto them as soon as possible. I don't remember if I'd, I'm pretty sure I would have known all my lines by the essay sack. Um, actually no, even earlier, I think I might have known all my lines. But as soon as possible, you want to know the English translation of all your lines. It's really tiring, I know, um, but you know, do the best you can, get them out of the way, because they're so crucial to you doing well in Latin. Uh, the essay will sort of take care of itself, and the knowledge, I think, you, you, as you talk through the text with your teacher, you'll sort of gain that as well. But most important is to start now, or to continue now, memorizing the lines and doing your unseens because those are probably the two most difficult parts of Latin. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, maybe those nerves are creeping up on you now. I know there was only one time that I was ever really stressed about year 12 or ever really worried about it. And I think it was a bit later than now, but it was when I sort of realized that, oh wow, the exams are coming really soon. And I haven't, you know, like grinded really hard for those exams just yet. And so if you have any worries, don't, don't worry. Um, uh, just work at your sacks, focus on one sack at a time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I reply to all my comments. So um, hopefully my advice can help you guys out a bit. Uh, good luck and see you all next time.